Hi, Bobby Thompson here with Crochet Guru, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet these really fun big bow baby booties. Now the materials needed to make these booties, some worsted weight yarn, and I used Red Heart, and the colors that I'm using in this video are called Ivory and Rose Pink. And the other booties that are pictured, I just use a basic red and a basic black from the Red Heart brand. Now for the crochet hook, I have different sizes listed. If you want to make a pair of booties for a 0 to 6 month baby, use an E4 hook. For a 6 to 12 month baby, use an F5 hook. And for a 12 to 18 month baby, use a G6 hook. Now in this demonstration, I will be using an F5 hook because my baby is 9 months old and that's who I'm making them for. Now you also need a stitch marker and a yarn needle and some thread and a thread needle. Okay, so in getting started, we're going to start on the sole and we're going to use color A. Now my color A is going to be ivory and we're going to start out by chaining 13. Start out by making a slip knot and then we're going to chain 13. So there's my slip knot. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Go ahead and take a look at round one. Now this looks like a lot, but we're going to take this step by step and it's not going to be too hard. Starting in round one, locate the second chain from your hook. So that's your first chain and that's your second chain. Now we're going to place two half double crochets into the second chain. To half double crochet, yarn over the hook, place the hook into the second chain, yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through the chain. There will now be three loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through all three loops on the hook. Now we're just going to half double crochet one more time into the same chain. So enter your hook into the chain and do one more half double crochet. Okay, so now we're going to place another two half double crochets into the next chain. So yarn over the hook, enter your hook into the next chain, Yarn over the hook and pull through the chain. Yarn over the hook and pull through all three loops on your hook. Now go ahead and repeat that one more time in the same chain. So there's your second half double crochet in your second chain. Now we're going to place one half double crochet into the next six chains. So there's one half double crochet. And then to the next chain over, we're going to place two. And the next chain over, we're going to place three. And the next chain, there's going to be four. Five. And then six. Now we're going to place one double crochet into the next three chains. So go ahead and yarn over your hook, insert your hook into the chain, yarn over the hook, pull through the chain, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, and then yarn over and pull through the last two loops on your hook. Now we're going to go ahead and do this two more times in the next two chains. So there's your second double crochet in the next chain. And then go ahead and place your third double crochet into the next chain. Now we're going to place five double crochets into the last chain. So there's one double crochet. Now go ahead and place two double crochets into the same chain. So there's two. Place three into the same chain. So there's three. Another double crochet which would be four in the same chain and then your last double crochet into the same chain. So that'll be five double crochets total into the same chain. Now with all of those double crochets into the same chain, there's going to be a hole. So go ahead and grab your tail end and pull it tightly and that will close that hole right up for you. Now we're going to continue working on round one, but we'll be working on the opposite side of the chain. And then when we're finished with this round, you should have 31 stitches. So when working on the opposite side of the chain, you will have two yarn strands that you can insert your hook into. I typically only insert my hook into the top strand, but you can do both if that's what you prefer. Also, don't forget to crochet over your tail end as well. Okay, so now we'll be placing three double crochets into the next three chains. So again, when working on the opposite side of the chain, go ahead and just insert your hook into that first strand, or that top strand, 
and also work over that tail end. So there's your first double crochet on the opposite side of the chain. Now working a little bit faster, go ahead and place your second double crochet into the second chain on the opposite side. And then into the third chain, go ahead and place that last double crochet. Now go ahead and place one half double crochet into the next six chains. Okay, so there's going to be your first half double crochet and I'm working over my tail end. There's two, three, there's four, and then working into the next chain, there's five, and then working into the next chain, there's six. Okay, so now you'll have two chains left, and what we're going to do is place two half double crochets into those last two chains. So there's one half double crochet, and then place one more half double crochet into that same chain. Now you'll have one chain left, so go ahead and place two more half double crochets into that very last chain. So there's one half double crochet, and then I'm going to place my last double crochet into that last same chain. Now that we're finished, we're going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet that we made in the beginning of our round. Find the first stitch in the beginning of the round, insert your hook, pull the yarn through the stitch, and then through the loop on your hook. After you slip stitch, count your round and make sure you have 31 stitches. And that completes round one. Okay, so before we start round two, I want you to take note that the chain one does not count as a stitch in this pattern. Go ahead and read the pattern for round two, and remember there will be 40 stitches total when we're all done with this round. Now is the time to grab your stitch marker and place it into the last stitch on round one. When you're ready, go ahead and chain one. And remember the chain one does not count as your first stitch. Now we'll be placing two half double crochets into the next two stitches. Locate your next stitch and place one half double crochet, and then two half double crochets into the same stitch. Now we're gonna go ahead and do that one more time. So there's one half double crochet, and then two half double crochet into the same stitch. Now we'll be working one half double crochet into the next eight stitches. So locate your next stitch. There's one half double crochet, two into the next stitch over, three, four into the next stitch over, five, six, seven, and eight. Now after you're done, we're going to go ahead and place one double crochet into the next three stitches. So there's one double crochet into the next stitch, there's two in the next stitch, three into the next stitch over. Now I am moving a little bit faster so if you need to pause the video go ahead and do that it might make it a little easier for you. And now we're going to work two double crochets into the next five stitches. So there's your first double crochet, we're going to place one more double crochet into that same stitch, And then locate the next stitch. We're going to place another two double crochets into this, that next stitch over. We're going to do that again into the next stitch. So there's one double crochet and there's two. We're going to do that two more times. So in the next stitch, another two double crochets. So there's one and two. And then in this very next stitch is going to be your last stitch that we're going to work two double crochets in. So when you're done, there should be five stitches that you've just worked two double crochets into. Okay, now we're going to work one double crochet into the next three stitches. So there's your one double crochet. There's two in the next stitch over. There's three into the next stitch over. Now we'll be working one half double crochet into the next eight stitches. So when you're ready, locate your next stitch and place your first half double crochet. So there's one half double crochet, two 
into the next stitch, three into the next stitch, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. Now you should have two stitches left, and in the last two stitches we're going to place two half double crochets. So go ahead and place one half double crochet into the next stitch, then two into the same stitch, and then the last stitch should have your stitch marker in it. So go ahead and take that out to make it a little bit easier, and remember that we need to place another two half double crochets into that last stitch. So there's one half double crochet, and two half double crochet. To finish this round, we're going to place one slip stitch into the first stitch. So go ahead and lo locate your first stitch, insert your hook into the stitch, and then pull through the loop on your hook. And that's the end of round two. This is what round three looks like. When you're finished, just make sure you have 48 stitches all together. Okay, make sure you move your stitch marker up to the very last stitch that you just made. We're going to go ahead and chain one. And now we're going to place two single crochets into the next two stitches. So locate your first stitch, place one single crochet, and then two single crochets. And we're going to do that exact same thing in the next stitch over. So place one single crochet, and then two single crochet into the same stitch. Now we're going to place one single crochet into the next 16 stitches. So when you're ready, locate the next stitch. There's one single crochet, two into the next stitch, three single crochet, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I do crochet a little tightly so sometimes it gets stuck, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then 16. Now we'll be working two single crochets into the next four stitches. So locate the next stitch and we're going to place two single crochets into that next stitch. So there's one, two, into the next stitch. We're going to place another two into the next stitch. So there's one, two, another two into the next stitch, one, two, and then one and two into the next stitch. Now on the opposite side of the booty we're going to be placing one single crochet into the next 16 stitches. Okay, so there's one, two into the next stitch over, three single crochet, four, five, six single crochet, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then sixteen. Okay, so we should have two more stitches left, and we're going to be placing two single crochets into the last two stitches. So there's one, two into the same stitch, I'm going to take my stitch marker out because it makes it easier. I'm going to place two more single crochets into that last stitch. So there's one single crochet, and then there's two single crochets into the same stitch, into that very last stitch. Now slip stitch into the first stitch. We should have 48 stitches total in this round, and that's the end of round three. Moving on to round four, we're going to be working in the back loops only. We're going to slip stitch into each single crochet around for a total of 48 stitches altogether. First, make sure to move your stitch marker up 
And then remember that a crochet stitch has two strands or loops in it. It has a front loop and a back loop. And right now my hook is placed into the front loop only. Now I'm going to show you where the back loop is by placing my hook into the back loop only. So this is where the back loop is located, and this is the only loop that we're going to be working in on round four. Okay, so before I move on, I just want to make sure I explain this enough. So what I'm going to do is place my hook under both of the strands or loops, so that way you understand where the stitch is, and then I'm going to move through round four pretty quickly. So when we get going, I'm only going to demonstrate this stitch a few times in round four because we're only going to be placing one slip stitch into each stitch or single crochet around. Just remember to only work in the back loops. Insert your hook into the back loop, yarn over the hook, and pull through that loop or stitch, and then just go ahead and pull right through the loop on your hook. And that's how we slip stitch. Now I'm gonna show you this just a couple more times. Place your hook into the back loop only, yarn over the hook, pull through the loop, and then pull through the loop on your hook. And then just continue doing this all the way around for round four. I'm just gonna do this a few more times. And then I'm going to let you just continue with this and then I will meet you back here for round five. Also don't worry about placing a slip stitch into the first stitch when you are finished with this round. Moving on to round five, we're going to be working into the entire stitch and we're going to single crochet into each stitch around for a total of 48 stitches. In round five, we're going to be working into the entire stitch. This means that not only are we going to be working through the entire slip stitch, but we're going to be working through the third loop that is underneath the slip stitch as well. So when you place your hook into that slip stitch, you'll notice that it's very, very tight and very, very hard to get your hook through. So go ahead and press through the bottom loop as well that's underneath that slip stitch and it will be much easier for you to work through. Now, if you're still not sure what this means, click on the link in the description box below and it will direct you to the written pattern. I will have pictures with descriptions on what this means to work through the entire stitch. Again, I'm only going to demonstrate a few stitches in round five because all we're doing is single crocheting through the entire stitch in each stitch around. So there's one single crochet, there's two, there's three, so just continue working all the way around. And this time we will be slip stitching into the first stitch because we'll be fastening off this round when we're finished. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to fasten off now that we're done with round five. Go ahead and grab your scissors. And when you make your cut, make sure you leave about five or so inches left on your tail end. Now to fasten off, just grab that tail end and pull it right through that loop that's on your hook and then just pull tightly and that will fasten it off. Now go ahead and grab your yarn needle and let's just sew in that tail end. Actually we can sew in, sew in both of our tail ends that we have left. And to do that just make sure that you weave in and out of the underside of those stitches. So I'm just going to hurry and weave in and out of my stitches. Now if you have enough left over, go ahead and weave in the other tail end as well. And just do that on the underside of the stitches. In round six, we're going to make sure the right side of the sole is facing us. We're going to attach color B to the center back of the sole, and then we're going to half double crochet in each single crochet around for a total of 48 stitches. Now the right side of the sole is the side that we've been working on. This is also the side that you want to be showing. So to find the center back of the sole, follow the chain line to the back of the booty, and then mark your spot. You can also fold your booty in half, if that makes it easier and then just kind of mark your spot on where the center back is going to be. Now we're gonna go ahead and attach color B to the center back of the booty and make sure it's on the right side and that's the side that you wanna be showing. It's also the side that we've been working on. Just attach your color B. And my color B is rose pink. Now after you attach color B, we're not going to worry about chaining one from here on out. We're just going to work our way around the booty. Also remember to crochet over your tail end as you work. And now we're just going to place one half double crochet in each single crochet around for a total of 48 half double crochets. So when you're ready, locate the next stitch and let's do our half double crochet into that stitch. And we're just going to keep doing that all the way around the booty and remember to work over your tail end as well. So there's two half double crochets. There's three, 
four, five. Now I'm going to let you continue half double crocheting all the way around this booty, and I will meet you back here for round seven. Now when you do finish this round, don't worry about slip stitching. Just finish your half double crochets and I will show you what to do next. In round seven, we're going to half double crochet into the next 16 half double crochets. We're going to half double crochet two together. And we're going to repeat that eight times and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. And then we're going to half double crochet into the next 16 half double crochets for a total of 40 half double crochets. Now when you're finished, I would recommend counting your stitches to make sure you have 48. Now we'll be placing one half double crochet into the next 16 stitches. When you're ready, yarn over the hook and don't worry about placing a stitch into where you attached the color B. Skip that attachment and place the half double crochet into the first stitch. Okay, so there's one half double crochet. There's two. And there's three. And there's four. there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, there's 13, 14, 15, and then 16. Okay, so now we're going to half double crochet two together, and we're going to repeat this eight times. So that means we're going to be working over a total of 14 stitches. I'm going to show you the first half double crochet two together slowly. So when you're ready, yarn over the hook, insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over your hook again, and pull through the stitch. There will now be three loops on your hook. Yarn over your hook, and then insert your hook into the next stitch over, and then yarn over your hook and pull through the stitch. There will now be five loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook and pull through all five loops on your hook. And that's how you do a half double crochet two together. Now we'll do this seven more times around the booty. So insert your hook again, yarn over, insert it into the next stitch over, and then yarn over and pull through all five loops on your hook. We're gonna do this a couple more times. So do, there's another half double crochet. And this will be your fourth half double crochet. So there's four half double crochets. And we're going to do five. And then six. And there's seven. And then one more makes eight. Now to finish off this round, we're going to place one half double crochet into the next 16 half double crochets. So there's one, two, three. Now go ahead, I'm just gonna let you finish off this round because it's very simple. Just finish half double crocheting until you get to the end of the round and I will meet you back here for round eight. Go ahead and take a look at round eight and just remember when we're through, you're going to have a total of 29 stitches and you'll wanna count after each round to make sure that you have the, the correct amount of stitches. Now I haven't been working with my stitch marker but at this point you might wanna bring it back just so that you can remember where your last stitch is. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring back my stitch marker and just place it into that last stitch. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and half double crochet two together and we're going to repeat that two times. Okay, so I'm going to show you this again one more time slowly. So yarn over the hook, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over the hook and pull through the stitch. There should be three loops on your hook. Yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch over. Yarn over and pull through the stitch. There should be five loops on your hook. 
yarn over and pull through all five loops on the hook. Now go ahead and place another half double crochet, two together, into the next two stitches. So there's one more half double crochet, two together. Now go ahead and place one half double crochet into the next nine half double crochets. So now I'm going to speed up the track and I'm just going to place one half double crochet into the next nine half double crochets. Now we're going to half double crochet two together and we're going to repeat that seven times. Okay, so go ahead and place your first half double crochet two together. So there's one. Okay, so now I'm just going to speed up the track again and just finish up the last six half double crochets two together. And this also is called a half double crochet decrease, just in case you were wondering. So again, I'm just speeding up the track to finish up these last six half double crochet two together. And here's my last half double crochet two together. Now we're just going to place one half double crochet into the next nine half double crochets. So there's one, two, three, four. Go ahead and finish those last five. Then I'll show you what we're going to do with those last two stitches. Okay, so now we're going to half double crochet two together and we're going to do that two times. So there's one half double crochet decrease. And then that last, those last two stitches, we're going to place our last half double crochet decrease. So there's another half double crochet decrease right there. After you're finished, make sure you have 29 stitches all together. So let's go ahead and take a minute and just weave in that loose tail end. So when you get a minute, go ahead and grab your yarn needle. And then let's, in the underside of the stitches, just go ahead and weave that tail end in. In round nine, we're going to half double crochet two together. Then we're going to half double crochet into the next nine half double crochets. And this is going to be a little different. We're going to double crochet nine together and I'm going to show you how to do that. And then we're going to half double crochet into the next nine half double crochets again. And that will be a total of 20 stitches. Okay, don't forget to move up your stitch marker. And what we're going to do is place one half double crochet two together into the next two stitches. So there's your half double crochet two together or half double crochet decrease, whichever you prefer to call it. And now we're going to place one half double crochet into the next nine half double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we're going to do something a little different. We're going to double crochet nine together and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so taking this slow, what we're going to do is yarn over our hook, insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over the hook and pull through the stitch. There will now be three loops on your hook. We're going to yarn over again and only pull through the first two loops on your hook. Now there should be two loops on your hook. Now when you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and yarn over the hook again, insert it into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through the stitch. There will now be four loops on your hook. When you're ready, yarn over and only pull through the first two loops on your hook. There will now be three loops on your hook. So take notice that we're working double crochets into each of these stitches, but we're just not completing them. So the uncompleted loop is going to remain on our hook and we're going to keep doing this over the next few stitches. So again, let's yarn over our hook, insert our hook into the next stitch, Yarn over the hook again and pull through the stitch. There will now be five loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook and only pull through the first two loops on your hook. Now there'll be four loops on your hook. So we're gonna keep doing this. We're gonna yarn over again and insert our hook into the next stitch. 
yarn over again, pull through the stitch, there'll be six loops on the hook, only draw through the first two loops again, and now there'll be five loops on the hook. So let's do this a few more times. So yarn over your hook, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over the hook, and draw through the stitch. There'll be seven loops on your hook. Now only pull through the first two loops, which will make six loops on your hook. Now we're just going to do this a couple more times. So yarn over the hook again, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over the hook and pull through the stitch, and there'll be eight loops on your hook. Yarn over and only pull through the first two loops again, now that there'll be seven loops on your hook. So let's count and make sure there's seven. So one, two, three, four, five. Now that's six and seven, we're going to do this three more times. Because remember, we're going to close off nine stitches and we have only done six so far. So yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through the stitch. There'll be nine loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops on your hook and there will now be eight loops on your hook. Yarn over the hook, insert it into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through the stitch. There'll now be 10 loops on your hook and only pull through the first two stitches. There'll now be nine loops on your hook. Okay, so we're going to do this one more time. Yarn over the hook, insert it into the stitch, yarn over and pull through the stitch. There'll now be 11 loops on your hook. Go ahead and pull through only the first two stitches again, and now there'll be 10 loops on your hook. Now it's time to close this stitch off, so yarn over your hook when you're ready and pull through all 10 loops on the hook. Take your time when you're doing this because you don't want to lose that loop that's on your hook. Now when you're finished, go ahead and yarn over the hook and just pull it right through that last loop that's on your hook. And that's going to complete that stitch for you. Okay, so now that we're finished crocheting those nine together, what we're going to do is place one half double crochet into the next nine half double crochets. So there's one. This will leave a little gap, but it's not going to be a big deal and it actually looks kind of cute. So there's one half double crochet. There's two. Three. So go ahead and just finish off the next six half double crochets and I will meet you back here for round 10. Starting with round 10, the pattern is going to get very simple. So I'm only going to show you the beginning of each round. So in round 10, we're going to place two half double crochets into the next half double crochet and then place one half double crochet into the next 19 half double crochets for a total of 21 stitches. Okay, so in the beginning of round 10, we're going to place two half double crochets into the next half double crochet. Okay, so when you're ready, go ahead and place that first half double crochet into that first stitch. And then we're going to place one more half double crochet into the same stitch. So there's two half double crochets. Now we're just going to continue all the way around our booty and just place one half double crochet into each stitch around. So there's one, two, three, and now I'm going to let you just continue half double crocheting all around the booty and I will meet you back here for round 11. Round 11 is pretty much the same thing. We're just going to place two half double crochets into the next stitch, and then we're going to half double crochet around the entire booty for a total of 22 half double crochets. Okay, so again, this is going to look exactly like the last round. We're just going to place two half double crochets into the next stitch. So there's two half double crochets into the next stitch, and then we're going to just place one half double crochet into each stitch around, or into each half double crochet around, and then I'll meet you back here for round 12. Okay, so in round 12, 13, 14, and 15, it's going to be the exact same thing. We're going to place two half double crochets into the next half double crochet, and then we're going to place one half double crochet into the remaining half double crochets. Now I'm going to let you do these rows on your own since they are a repeat of what we've been doing. So just pause the video and finish these rows and I will meet you back here for round 16 and 17. Real quick before I move on, I just wanna let you guys know that my goal is to always be working on making my tutorials better. 
So I have been experimenting a little bit with my tutorials and I just want to see what you guys prefer. And if you like that I'm not showing you every stitch on every row, let me know. But if you would prefer that I showed you every stitch in every row, let me know that as well. So I apologize for this interruption, but again, I would love it if you'd let me know how I'm doing and that way I can give you guys the kind of crochet tutorials that you want. Okay, so moving on to round 16 and 17, we're just going to half double crochet in each half double crochet around. Okay, so in the next two rows, we're just going to half double crochet into each stitch around. So it's going to be very simple. So I'm just going to demonstrate the very beginning of row 16, or round 16. And then I'm going to let you finish round 16 and round 17 on your own. So just continue to half double crochet on every stitch or half double crochet around the booty. And again, just do this on round 16 and 17 and I'll meet you back here for round 18. Moving into our last round, which is round 18, we're going to attach color A, half double crochet in each half double crochet around and then slip stitch into the first stitch. And this is going to be a total of 26 stitches. Okay, so now we're going to attach color A to our booty and we're going to half double crochet into each half double crochet around. So go ahead and grab your color A and attach it to your booty. After you attach color A, cut your last color or color B and make sure you leave a few inches for weaving. Now when you half double crochet around the booty, make sure that you weave in those tail ends as well. So just make sure you weave those in with the half double crochet. So there's one. two, three, and then just notice that I'm weaving around those tail ends as well. So there's four, and five. Now go ahead and finish round 18 on your own and I will show you how to fasten off and weave in those loose yarn ends. To finish this row, slip stitch into your first stitch. So insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over the hook and pull through the stitch, and the loop on your hook. Then fasten this off by cutting your yarn. Again, make sure to leave a few inches for weaving in. And then pull the yarn through the loop on your hook to fasten off. Now I'm going to grab my yarn needle and just weave in all of these loose ends. So just go ahead and grab your yarn needle and start weaving in those loose ends. Now when you feel good about how much you've weaved, go ahead and cut that tail end off. And that's the end of round 18. And this is what your booty should look like. Now what we're going to do is move on to how to make the bow. Moving on to the bow for our booty, remember to make two of these. And with color A, we're going to chain five. So I'm back to using my ivory, which was my color A, and I'm gonna go ahead and chain five. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and that's all you need to do for your foundation chain. Row one, we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook, and then we're going to single crochet into the remaining chains. And that will be a total of four single crochets. All right, so go ahead and insert your hook into that second chain from your hook, and then single crochet into that second chain, and then we're just going to single crochet into the remaining chains. So there's two single crochet, three, and then four single crochets all together. And that would be the end of row one. Now in rows two through 14, we're going to chain one, turn our work, and then single crochet in each single crochet across. Okay, so I'm just gonna demonstrate the next row. Go ahead and chain one, turn your work, and then single crochet in each single crochet across. Okay, so there's one single crochet, two, three, and then four. Now go ahead and do this exact same thing on rows three through 14 and I'll meet you back here and show you what we're going to do next. Now after you're finished with rows two through 14, we're going to go ahead and move on to round one. So that probably sounds confusing moving into a round after doing our rows, but I'll explain to you what that means in just a minute. But for now, the bow will now be shaped like a rectangle. Do not fasten it off. Instead, chain one and then single crochet around the rectangle or bow. And again, I'm going to show you what that means. 
okay, so this is what our bow looks like so far. And again, it kind of looks like a rectangle. So <clears throat> that's kind of what I mean by a rectangle. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet all the way around this rectangle. So chain one. Now we'll turn our work to the side and then single crochet into each row on the side. So go ahead and <laughs> locate each of your rows and then go ahead and insert your hook into that next row. It's gonna be a little bit different because it's on the side of your row. And then just single crochet into each side. Now what I've done is I've counted each row and each stitch that I have inserted my hook into and made a single crochet into, and I've counted a total of 36 stitches. So now it doesn't really matter if you get exactly 36 stitches, but, but that's kind of just something to work from. Okay, so I'm going to just speed up the track a little bit and just continue to work away around my, my bow, and that way you can kind of see what I'm doing. Also, don't forget to work single crochets into your foundation chain as well. So I'm just working into my foundation chain right now. And you should get four on the side of your foundation chain. And then just make sure you pull your tail end tightly. And we're going to go ahead and work over that tail end on the other side. Okay, now to finish this round, just add your last four single crochets. So there's one, two, three, and then four. And then just make sure you have about 36 single crochets all the way around your bow. <clears throat> and I'm gonna show you how to finish this off. Okay, to finish this off, just remember to weave in your tail ends. So I'm gonna just demonstrate that real quickly. Just make sure to weave them in nice and tight so that way you don't have to worry about them coming out. Now that we're finished weaving in both of our tail ends, we're going to take the yarn and we're going to wrap it around the bow very tightly. So go ahead and grab that tail end. We're going to wrap it about 20 times. So just go ahead and pinch the bow down once you get it wrapped up. Just pinch it down really nice and firm. And then just start winding the yarn around the middle of your bow, and that's about 20 times. After you wrap the bow, cut the yarn and make sure to leave enough yarn for weaving. Thread the yarn into your yarn needle and weave the tail end into the back of the bow. Make sure you do it a few times so that way it's secure. When you feel safe, go ahead and take your scissors and cut that tail end off. And now we're going to attach it to the booty. When you're attaching your bows, make sure you put them on opposite sides so that way you have a right booty and a left booty. And I'm going to attach my bows to the front corner of my booties. Grab your thread and thread needle, and it doesn't really matter what color your thread is, but if you're worried about the thread showing through, get some that matches your booty. When you're ready, go ahead and start stitching your thread into the back of your bow. Now grab your booty and start sewing the bow into your booty. Now I'm going to sew my bow into my booty so that you don't see my thread. And this will take me a while, so I'm gonna speed up the track. Just make sure your bow is nice and secure to your booty. Again, when you're working on the opposite booty, make sure that the bow is on the opposite side. And this is what your booty should be looking like when you're all finished. Before I finish up, if you're interested in making a headband to match these booties, I will be putting this headband tutorial up in a couple of weeks. And for the written pattern, I will be posting a link in the description box below and it will direct you to the written pattern for these booties. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I hope you have a wonderful day.